Hey guys. Bushcraft family here with a, an important video. Sad sad news, but very important nonetheless because so often we overlook our friendships uh, thinking they'll always be there and, and what not. We get tied up in our lives and worry about like yesterday I was oh no my my brakes went out and I have to get them fixed and then then today I'm over at uh, Paranormal Highway watching his daily lives um, and he, he broke some news that very sad news that hit home because I, I know the person that that the bad news was about um, Joe Snyder he was up on my live a few months ago J June 2nd and um, we had talked we emailed back and forth quite a bit um, about appearing on one another's shows our lives and he 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 wanted me to come on his his live um, to talk about bushcrafting and stuff like that and how it how it ties into uh, all the Bigfoot you know stories and things like that um, but he came on my show first and great 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 live we actually went over time um, could have went could have went for another hour or so but um, he agreed to come back whenever I wanted him wanted him up again and like I said it, we became friends it, it was like I said, I, I haven't, I never, didn't know him very long or anything, but um, like I said, I was over on Paranormal Highways Live and heard the news. And I'm going to relay it back over to you guys. And I, I got this information, and this, this was a couple days ago, two days ago. Uh, three days ago um, and this is from his wife yesterday uh, we came to the hospital because Joseph had lost his ability to walk they did a CT scan and that found his cancer had spread to his bones they found tumors on his vertebrae and ribs they also found fractures on one of his vertebrae from the tumors we met with the hospital this morning and we're told Joseph cancer Joseph's cancer is spreading fast and only has a few months the best that they can do is manage his pain so he can spend the last few days at home with his dog cats and his wife molly um like i said this this was um very sad news and go show you how precious life is um how much we overlook our our friendships our families uh things like that until we get until we get um news like this and that's when we start thinking about it more 
and then we get busy with our lives um, things happen around the house or your vehicles and you, you tend to forget about how precious life is and I am going to post all this information down below um, he does ha have a GoFundMe for his family and everything you know all the stuff that's going to be needed um, anyways I got a I'm gonna go ahead and play the live for you just just a few so you can um, if I can find it here it is so you can see who I'm talking about here it is I'll play it just for a little bit um was the same time I was hearing them out in our woods off our front porch did, did, did I just hear you say that it touched some glass no, no. Like the casting was in glass this was oh 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 I was about to say because if that ever happens again <laughs> you gotta get a sample of the fingerprints the yeah. oil yeah, I, would get a of that. I heard you say that when I was out water in the garden and fixing the pond filter. Um, yeah, that's a good idea with the oils, with the hand or footprints. That's a really good idea. Yeah, if, if anything ever leaves a very large handprint on glass or anything, mask up, get some rubber gloves, get a, a little tubular thing and a Q-tip and you know, try to get at least as a good a sample as you can and get it in there. Try not to contaminate it because or, or go on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Maybe only do some of it and not the whole thing. And like, well, we, we already know who we're going to call and he's going to come. Yeah, right we're away. talking to Brian. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a Brian, I'm, I'm sending the rest of it straight to Melba Ketchum. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. It's a joke. <laughs> Send it to Doug Hycheck. <laughs> or send it to Meldrum or, you know. Yeah, Meldrum. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if you if you get any of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And of and, course, like if you would want to be contacted, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. And I had noticed that somebody in the chat said, uh, you should always have a good dosey, do a little bit healthy dose. There we go. Healthy dose of skepticism. And that's true, you should. Yeah. There you go, guys. He is a great man. Um, again, really sad, sad news. And I will post all the information down below. Uh, the page where I got all this information. Um, it's. I think that's about all I'm going to say about it. But again, guys, God bless.